Now let's learn how we can use the metric discrepancy report to correct inconsistencies between reported metric inventory, flow hub inventory, and our physical inventory. This report identifies five types of discrepancies that could exist. Each row identifies and lists the discrepancy, any associated license, any associated package tags, product categories, unit of measures, and quantities. The column labeled Notes will list the specific type of discrepancy identified. For readability, we have color coded each discrepancy type in our CSV file here. The first discrepancy we're going to learn about is labeled Active Package Not in Flow Hub. What this means is that we have an active package that is residing in our metric that is yet to be added into our Flow Hub inventory. This package could have been recently received from a vendor and is yet to be added to our FlowHub inventory. Another scenario could be that we miss this package when adding it to our inventory. To resolve this discrepancy, we'll want to first ensure that we have this package physically in the store. Once we've identified this package, we'll want to ensure that the package tag number and the quantity matches what's in our metric account. Now that we've confirmed that the details of the package matches what's in our metric account, we can now fully resolve this discrepancy by adding the missing active package into our FlowHub inventory. Awesome! We've covered our first discrepancy type. In the next video, we'll be covering the not found in metric discrepancy. Stay tuned.